Hey, what's up, guys? So, I'm making a video on how to grow wheatgrass indoors. And we're also going to make show, the, show you how to do this and how to get the most nutrition out of it and with the least amount of mold. And what's important about this video is to understand how easy it is to grow wheatgrass. I'm just doing this here in a one bedroom apartment and just growing this here in the corner of my kitchen. And it's really easy to do. And it's also important, really important to understand now that especially these days with the, the quality of wheatgrass and the quality of our food the quality, quality of our food has gone down, it's important to take supplements and to keep, keep your nutrition levels up and stuff. But especially with wheatgrass, because it has all the vitamins and the minerals and the amino acids and all the nutrition that not not only boost your nutrition levels but helps re even rebuild your dna and keep your dna healthy because these are a lot of the things that are in here with the minerals and the vitamins amino acids and all of that it's that's a lot of what your dna is comprised of and that's especially important these days with all the radiation and you know the chemicals that are in you know everywhere and covid and everything that's going on right now it's kind of messing up people's DNA and their immune systems and, and humanity is kind of going through a lot health wise and this is one of the most powerful sources to and one of the best ways to get yourself back on track and, and to get yourself healthy and detoxed and back in alignment and one of the things another thing that's uh, very beneficial about wheatgrass is it has chlorophyll in it and Chlorophyll, chlorophyll is basically a light energy substance, so it just it has amazing benefits for detoxification and, and killing toxins and pollutants in the body and stuff like that. So th this is one of the most healthy and be best methods I've found to when it comes to detox and, and increasing your nutrition and, and keeping yourself healthy. And you can look this up. There's just pages and tons of websites on the internet that talk about wheatgrass and the benefits so anyway um, we're not going to get into that in, in this video I'm just going to show you how to grow it easily and effortlessly inside and while getting the most nutrition out of it and that's pretty much it and how to harvest it and, and juice it even if you're just in a one bedroom apartment okay so Let's go get go ahead and get started. I'm going to kind of show you what we got going on here. I showed you this wheatgrass already, and I got these two flats. They're looking really good. You can see how thick it is. This one just got started, but in the next day or two, this is going to be really thick. It's going to be a really nice one. And these ones are going really well. They're looking looking really good, so it's going to have it set up. Now, if you look up here, I have this light that's turned on you'll need about six to seven hours you could technically put these by a window but I like having a light because I can grow multiple ones sometimes I grow three or four at a time so if you look back here I've just bought a, a timer at Harbor Freight it was like 10 bucks maybe 15 bucks plugged it into the wall and I have this time for like six hours maybe Maybe you want six, maybe it's seven, I think, actually. You want about seven hours, and, and you'll get a good, nice, good flat of wheatgrass. You can just time that up. And I think I got this light from Amazon. It was cheap. It's a little flimsy, but it's doing a great job. You know, I just put this vise on there to stabilize it. But you can, you can get different systems, but for a very cheap, with a very cheap light, you can go re wheatgrass really easily and other vegetables and stuff in your, in your home. So, as you can see, too, I kind of have this boosted up. Um, 
you don't want it too close to the light because it'll start burning the tip of it. So this wasn't quite long enough, so I put boards under it. So that's kind of a setup that you're going to want. Get it from this angle too so you can get a good idea what this looks like. So that's somewhat of a setup that you'll want. And that grows wheatgrass extremely effectively and other things too. You can just put stuff on the outside of this and the light will hit it and it'll still grow in your home. So there's that. And that's that's kind of how that setup is. Now on the side here. We have all the things that we need, and we got our soil right here on the right, the soil that we have, that's really easy to use, you just put it in there and put the seeds, we'll get into that later though. So you're going to need soil, you're going to need seeds, now you can get a bag of seeds, and get it like this, about this big, get these all over the internet and stuff. But what I like to do, and those work well depending on how much you grow, but what I do is I buy these barrels of seeds. And I'll put links in on where to get this and stuff. But I like doing this, and the reason why I like this is because you can also use this not only do these last for, for a very long time, but you can also use this as food storage and, and make wheat out of it and flour and stuff. So they also work really good for food storage. So I like how getting these containers of it. Okay. Now I'll just show you these on the counter. And I'll put a list of the stuff that you're going to want to get to. Because you'll probably, you'll probably forget a lot of this you know a couple things and you don't want to do that because you want to get the most nutrition as much as you can out of the wheatgrass okay so we have our soil and our seeds and another thing that we're gonna want is our water our paper towels an empty spray bottle measuring cup this is called azomite, the stuff right here. And this is going to add a massive amount of nutrition to the wheatgrass. And you're going to want to add some of this to the soil. It's a very important element. I mean, you're going to get, no matter what, you're always going to get a ton of nutrition out of wheatgrass. But this stuff adds a lot too. So this video is about getting the most out of it. You don't have to. It's not that expensive. But if you can't quite afford it, not a big deal. That's called azomite, and I'll make a, put a list on the video as well, and links to get all this stuff. Okay, and then over here we have this grapefruit seed extract, and this is important. You want to soak this in the seeds. We'll put some, I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. Put some of this in with the seeds, and that's going to not only add nutrition to the seeds and help them grow, but it's also going to reduce mold. Again, we're going to do this without mold too. As you can see these other ones over here, there's no mold in them. The ones I showed you earlier. And a lot of that is because of this. And you might get a little bit of mold, but it's not really a big deal. You can just wash it. It'll stay at the bottom. And you just cut the top of the grass off and you can wash it. Just rinse it off before you juice it. And that's not a big deal. But we're going to show you how to do that with very minimal, if any, mold. And that's, that's going to help a lot, that grapefruit seed extract. Now, another thing, we're going to add one more nutrition to the wheatgrass. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to, this is called Epsom salt. And we're just going to put a little smidgen of it in this spray bottle with water. So we're going to fill the bottle with water and just a little bit of Epsom salt and spray that and let it dissolve and spray that Epsom salt on the grass at once it's growing. Like these ones are now, I'll show you with these ones. And that's pretty much the thing of it. Um, we'll get into that really quick on how to get started. Oh, sorry. We're going to show you how to grow the grass 
And in order to do that, you want to get the seed sprouting and you want to soak the seeds. So the first thing you want to do is get a couple of containers. I would get it for a setup like this, like four of these containers. And you're also going to want to keep your, your area clean before you do anything with wheatgrass because it kind of takes a lot of maintenance and you're going to you know, need your sink to put the flats on and water on. Okay, so what you'll want to do is get your containers. And to start this off, you're going to need two cups of wheatgrass. So actually, let's just walk over here. Or wheatgrass seed, sorry. And you just want it about right there, yeah. It's perfect. Pressed. Yeah. So you want two cups worth of seeds per flat. And two crop two cups is gonna grow one of these. So what we're gonna do here. Take these two cups and you're going to dump it in your container. Okay. And you're going to want to fill this container with water, a little bit above. The, the reason I'm not using tap water is because I'm in an apartment and I don't want the fluoride and, and all the chemicals in here. So I'm using, I, I fill this water up at the machines at the grocery store so it's filtered. I go buy them in, in, in like five gallon jugs and stuff. And that lasts me a little while so I don't have to do it that much. That way we're getting filtered water. You kind of want to rinse these out a little bit. Shake these around. And then you're going to want to rinse them out. Give them one, one good rinse. So I like these containers, they're really easy to rinse this water out without losing any seeds. You could use this with a with a funnel as well, a strainer. Just make sure you get a metal one, but I like these containers so I don't have to use a strainer. Once it's, it's rinsed out, you put your lid aside, and one more time, you want to fill it with water, just above the seeds, a little above the seeds. step is to take this grapefruit seed extract and shake it up a little bit and just put some of this a couple of squirts of this in with the seeds all right so just put some in that that's probably pretty good really powerful stuff it's really good for you can put this in drinks and stuff as well if you want. But we're just growing it in to the wheatgrass and get the elements from it. Okay, so put your lid back on and shake this up a little bit. Just a bit, just to stir up the dirt. And then
and then take this once it's done and you're just going to want to put this in the fridge again make sure you just put it on the top so nothing's spilling into it sorry about that okay so just put it in there <clears throat> on the top with the water and the grapefruit seed extract and set your timer on your phone for about eight to ten hours so if you're doing this at night you can just leave it overnight and, and, and bring it out in the morning and do what we need to do and we'll do that in the next video but before we end this one really quick I'm going to show you how to make this Epsom salt solution and in the next video, we're just going to drain those seeds. And maybe I'll just make it all one video and we can pause it. But we'll, we'll, we'll drain those seeds and get those seeds sprouting and show you how to set up the soil. Before we end this one, what, what we're going to do here is show you how to make your Epsom salt solution. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to fill this up all the way. Now notice how this says organic on it. Everything you do here, you want to get organic. Organic soil, everything here, get, get the good stuff. We want, to get, we want to get the most out of this as possible. Okay, so fill this about, about to the top. And what you, what you don't want to do is put too much salt in. Okay, we're just making, altering the wheatgrass a little bit and making it a little stronger. And we're getting a little more nutrients in it, like this magnesium and stuff. Okay, but you don't, you don't want to use too much salt. It'll clog up your thing anyway. So get a little teeny bit. I've got these little containers that I need. I'm not going to put all of that in there, just a little teeny bit. Lift this up. I mean, like, even just a smidge of a teaspoon is all. Just, uh, don't be tempted to do too much. So, if you want it to dissolve, you know. And this is also not only going to help with nutrients, but mold as well. <clears throat> this is another thing that, along with the grapefruit seed extract, is going to help with mold. So there's that. Shake it up. And once it's nice and dissolved, it's going to help out. You're going to have that magnesium in there and stuff. Just let it, let it get nice and dissolved. Sure to shake, you don't want the salt to get stuck in a little spewer thing, a little tube down there. Okay, so that's that, and that's pretty much how you get wheatgrass started. You know what, I guess this, this video is getting a little long, but you know what, that's fine. If you need to pause it, go ahead and pause it, but what we're going to do really quick while this is dissolving, I want to do one last thing because it's better to get all nice and set up. <clears throat> while you get your seeds soaking so you're not scrambling around. So I think what we're going to do now is show you how to set up the soil and, and get the soil going while this is dissolving. And then we'll just nail that in this video, spray these other ones with this and get that soil going. Okay, so we're about 20 minutes into this. Um, if you need to pause it, go ahead and pause it. If not, just go ahead and keep watching it. So let's take a few more minutes. Probably take like five, five more minutes to do this soil while this is dissolving. All right. So what we're gonna do here is take our trays. And again, I'll make a list of all this so you don't miss anything. And 
lot, a lot of these little elements. Okay, sorry about that. This is how suffice. Okay. So as you can see here, the, the way this is set up is you have this tray right here with holes in it. Okay, sorry about that. The, the video cut off because I guess it has a timer on it. You can only record for, for so long. So it, the, the video stopped, but I put the soil in here and then it stopped. I was showing you guys how, how these things work. Now you have these ones with holes in them, the trays with holes in them, and then you can buy these ones without holes in them. And the ones with holes in them, you're just going to stick in these ones without holes in them. So if the water leaks through, the water it's going to drain into that container. So sorry about that video timing out. I'll probably fix that pretty well in the video editing. So you can do that, and then you have these ones as well. And you just want to stick these in the outside ones. So whichever ones you want to buy there. Those other ones were a little cheaper. All right, so basically what we did here is we, we filled the soil about, uh, I don't know, a little less than an inch probably of the soil. And what we're going to want to do next is put some of this azomite in. So again, we got this little container, and you don't and then you get into your azomite here. And you don't really need to measure this, just kind of do it by eye, get a little container, maybe a spoon or something, and just kind of sprinkle it on the top here. Okay, and you're going to get a lot more nutrients out of this. It's going to help your wheatgrass a lot. Just kind of dust the top of the soil. You don't need to go overboard. You never need to really go overboard. I mean, we're going to get, like I said, just the wheatgrass alone, you're going to get a lot out of it. But this is just adding the elements. So a little bit of all of this stuff, the grapefruit seed and this azomite and the salt, it, it, it goes a really long way. So, All right, so that's kind of what you want, to look at, want it to look like. Kind of graze the top, and then you want to mix it into the soil. Okay, so mix all that into the soil. ready to go that's all mixed in and ready to go and what we want to do next is just set it aside kind of set it on the outside of your your thing there so that's ready to go so what we've done here is we've, we've got nice and set up we've soaked our seeds and remember you want to we'll go through the steps one more time really quick you want to rinse these seeds out and then put water back on top of them, give them one rinse, put water on top of it, and put the grapefruit seed extract in there. Soak it in there. And you wanna make your, your bottle. And once that, this is probably dissolved by now, but I don't wanna make this video too long. It's gonna end again anyway. So once that's ready, you'll just spray the top of these and that's gonna help with your mold. And it's going to also add more nutrients and magnesium and stuff and just kind of spray those down. You, we'll do that too in another video. But when they're about that big to where these ones are getting, just go ahead and spray them down a little bit. And that's going to help with the mold and get a little more nutrients in there. All right, so that's what we pretty much covered in this video. How, how to get started on wheatgrass, the, the, the setup and the nutrients and the, and the stuff that you're going to need. And that pretty much sums it and how to get started and how to get the seeds soaking. And I guess I'll either make this one video or separate them. I haven't, haven't decided yet. But either in the next video, you'll watch a different, in the next video we're going to show you how to sprout those seeds and 
plant the seeds and, and get these things growing. And we'll probably show you how to harvest it in that video too. Okay, but that's how you get started. So go ahead and get set up with this, get all the stuff you need. And we'll have our list <clears throat> from our list. And get all the stuff you need, get it ordered. And this is how you get it set up and get started. So get all this set up. Get your seeds soaking. And I guess in the next video, or we'll just continue this one maybe, whatever we do there, we're, we're gonna show you how to sprout and plant those seeds and also harvest the grass and juice the grass so that you can drink it and all that. You can also bathe with it. You can actually put it in your bath and it's good for your skin. A lot of stuff you can do with wheatgrass. You can actually look that up online. But for for this video, that that's pretty much it. Um, we're that's all your stuff. That's how you get started. That's your little setup. Get your seeds soaking, and get your soil ready. And either wait for the next video or keep watching this one, and we'll show you how to get it all planted, sprouted, harvested, and juiced. Okay, so it's been about nine hours or so, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna rinse out those seeds really quick and kind of set them aside so they can start sprouting. Now, I kind of wanted you to notice too that even just within that nine hours and that this light has been on and off, which was time for like seven hours. And even within that short time frame, you could see that this grass is getting a whole lot thicker. It actually grew a lot. See that one before. You can remember if you could, if you turn the video back and go back, you could kind of see the dirt even in it. And it's really, really thinned out. So it kind of gives you an idea of how fast this grows. And then tomorrow in the morning when we, we're going to want to rinse the seeds again and they'll start sprouting tomorrow and we'll rinse them again and get them sprouting a little bit more. And you'll see that this will, this will have grown quite a bit more as well by in just that little time frame as well. So let, let's go ahead then, but go ahead and notice that and let's go ahead and grab our seeds that have been soaking. that's a little better so we have our seeds and then we got our lid right here and we're just gonna do what we did before shake that up a little bit and then all we're gonna do is just drain the water Okay, so now that we've drained our water, got our seeds now nice and no water in them. So what we're going to want to do next is just simply set it aside and then take your lid 
just kind of set it on the top of it. And I like to leave just like a little bit of space. Just for a teeny little bit of air to get in there. We don't want again, we don't want our seeds to get moldy, but they do need to have moisture so that they can sprout. So I just leave a little bit of air. And then in the morning, what we'll do is we'll do that same step and we'll pour more water on that and rinse it off and let it sprout a little bit more before we plant it. Okay, so that's your next step. And keep watching and we'll show you what we're going to be doing in about 8 to 10 hours from now. Okay, so it's been about 8 to 10 hours. And what we're going to do now is take these seeds. And you can see they're kind of drying out a little bit. They're still going to be fine though. And about... I'd say eight more hours, they're probably going to sprout. So what we're going to want to do here just once again, fill them up, fill it up with water. And of course, like before shake it up a bit and strain it right back out Okay, and just make sure you don't let them get too dry. So you just put them right back where they were. Same deal. And give it about eight more hours. So right here we are with this grass. This really, let's take a look at this really quick. This is getting pretty close. I was going to start juicing. In fact, I think I might start juicing this today. That's that's about where you want it. So you can start like cutting it off right here. And then, so now maybe actually we'll go go ahead and do that. That's enough to that that's enough to make a juice. So that's plenty enough, plenty high enough. So let's go ahead and make a juice. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and keep watching the video, and we'll show you how to juice this. All right. So like we're just gonna grab this bigger one then. Just put it on the counter here. Up on the sink. Notice too, it's getting a little dry, a little bit here. I like to let it get pretty dry because again we want to watch the mold and I'm probably going to water this just a little bit today but this is good to go so what we're going to do is grab some scissors and a little strainer Side looks a little taller. 
Now you, you can cut this off as you juice it. This will both look pretty tall. You, you can cut this off as you juice it and put it in, you know, store it in containers. Or you can just do it as you go along. It doesn't really matter, but what I do is I cut it down at the base here. About that tall. You want it to take about a quarter of it. So basically per one flat, you're gonna get one, two, three, and like four two ounce shots of wheatgrass approximately. And then you wanna just let this grow back. And basically you'll get two uses out of it. Unfortunately, like a you're gonna get you can't get much more out of it other than like two two growths because it will get a little too they, they do kind of start getting a little nasty and moldy Let me take off a little bit more since this still isn't that tall okay so that's kind of what you want to do maybe even do it in thirds if you want a thicker one but Fourths should be good, and by tomorrow, this is going to be tall enough that you should probably get six more ounces of it. And then it'll grow back one more time, and it'll be the same thing. Okay, so now, now that we've cut this, we take some of these stragglers. Oops, sorry about that. We can take some of these stragglers off here, so it can grow back well. We'll just kind of toss them on there. Then we got our little strainer full of wheatgrass. Okay, the next thing we're going to want to do is rinse it off. Let's put this aside. Rinse this off a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to go over here to the juicer. Speaking of water, I always like to have a glass of water. Okay, so I'm just getting a glass of water ready real quick. Okay, and we're just going to take our wheatgrass. All right, so now we got our water. We're just going to take our wheatgrass. Toss it in the juicer. starts coming out here I like to hold this little container out I don't know how well you can see it but a little juice kind of runs out the end at first so you kind of gonna watch want to watch that And then 
see how that pulp is coming out right there? I just kind of moved that back so I'm not wasting any juice in this discard container. Just one of those little tricks. I'm just going to put the rest in here. Yeah, so this juicer has like a reverse function. I'm just moving the grass a little bit, back the other way a little bit, and back again so we can get all of it. What you're going to want to do here is when you take this apart and you're putting it in the sink, kind of hold this underneath it, kind of move it back and forth because you're going to get a few more drops out of that. So get that juice in there, set, set this aside. You kind of want to drink this as quick as you can when it comes out what what I like to do this is probably gonna be about two ounces it doesn't look like much but the, probably the nutrients and everything you're getting out of this is probably the equivalent of 10 pounds of fruits and vegetables and you're getting the chlorophyll and stuff too so what what I like to do is have these little measuring cups just so I can see where I'm at and how much I'm drinking A little less than two ounces, but that's fine. I mean, you only really need an, an ounce or two. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Wheatgrass is absolutely disgusting. It is it? It's a disgusting thing. I think it is. Some people can handle it. I do it because. There is no other place, as far as I, I have found, to get this level of nutrition, and the benefits are so amazing. So, I just take this as a shot, and, and drink it down as a shot. And I don't know if you can see me, sorry if you can't see me, but I just drink this as a shot. Okay, so, I, I don't know if you can see me, but 
I just shoot this down and, and it's a lot better to do this on an empty stomach. And you don't have to. You, you can put wheatgrass in smoothies. Hold, hold on a second. There's something like floating in the air. <laughs> you can put wheatgrass in smoothies and chase it with an orange and then stuff like that. And you're still going to get, like always, no matter what with wheatgrass, you're going to get a lot out of it. You're going to get a whole lot of nutrition out of it. But it's a little bit better if you drink it on an empty stomach because then it absorbs into your organs and, and you get a lot more out of it. Wheatgrass is so powerful that, that it actually goes right into it. It, it just kind of absorbs into your, all your organs, your kidneys and your liver, kind of like a sponge almost. So it's really, really good to try and kind of take this on an empty stomach if you can. If not, not that big a deal. Okay, so shoot it down like, like you're taking a shot of alcohol. And I like to immediately chase it with water. Because again, it's grass. It doesn't <laughs> it doesn't taste good. It's just really, really, really good for you. But it, it, it's not that bad. You need to get used to it. So start drinking it for a couple weeks. And do this every day. About two ounces, just like what we did there. That's about how much you want. Nice, good, solid ounce or two. And you're going to be feeling a lot of benefit. Now, another thing that, that, that's cool about wheatgrass, in and of itself, it, it, it's a disinfectant. So really, you don't even really need any soap when you're cleaning up your juices. The wheatgrass kind of does that for you. Taking apart the juicer and stuff. And you don't, you don't really have to use soap. It's really easy, really easy to clean. Now every once in a while, yeah, see I can't even smell the wheatgrass on it because it's, it's like I said, it's a natural solution. It's clean. It has natural cleansing in it. So, but every once in a while, just what I do for my juicer is clean all that out really easy to clean out. Unlike making an actual juice it gets really bad, but I'll just take some of this, it's a natural soap and clean clean it off some, but it's just wheatgrass, it pretty much cleans itself. So that is one good thing that that's better about wheatgrass than traditional juice is that it's just much easier to clean up. These juicers usually come with these brushes and stuff. Yeah, pretty convenient. And that's pretty much it. Clean all your stuff off. And there you go. And that's pretty much the the whole almost the whole process of this. I'm gonna tell you how to get those seeds planted, finish sprouting those seeds and planting them. And after that, that's pretty much the whole process of the whole the whole wheatgrass thing. So it's not not too bad. It's very simple, it's affordable, and more affordable than supplements, for especially since what you're getting out of it, and you're getting the live enzymes and, and everything. Like I said, go ahead and get on get on the internet and do your research about that, and, and look that up. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, really, one last thing really quick. Since this is getting a little bit dry, I'm just going to water this a little bit. Now, like, like I said, when it comes to wheatgrass and you just put it over your sink, I put a towel back here. I don't know if you can see that, but back there beyond the wheatgrass because it gets a little wet. But what, what I do is you just, it's really simple. Guess that will have to work. Let me just take. No. Sorry about that. Give me one second to bring this camera up a little. Sorry about 
Sorry about that. It's a little choppy. All right, that that's probably the best we're going to get on that one. So basically what we do here is we take our, our strainer again, because I don't like to use tap water. Little bits of water. We don't want a lot of water. Again, just enough to keep that soil a little bit wet, a little bit moist, but not enough. Let me see if I'm getting water on this one. But not enough to, to create excess moisture with so you get mold. That's why you always want to keep a towel ready too. Because this whole I'll say watering in the house is kind of a pain in the butt, but about it. I mean, other other than that, this whole process is pretty simple. I mean, you can get a little water, but and that there we go. And that that's kind of the whole process here. Other than that, what we're gonna do in a little bit here when that when these seeds are sprouted. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna let this drain a little bit in case there's any coming out the bottom. Let all that moisture come out the bottom, so it's just the soil that's wet. And that's pretty much it in a minute here. Keep watching the video and when those seeds are sprouted, we're gonna we're gonna show you how to plant them and get your flat growing and that'll pretty much be it. Alright guys, thanks for thanks for watching. Keep on watching and we'll get those seeds going. Okay, so been about I don't know nine hours maybe ten something like that and these seeds are getting pretty dry again you can see though that they're starting to sprout they're getting little sprouts on them so we're just gonna do the same thing and just get them wet so I'll back down All right, simple as that. Everything's looking good, and these will be ready to plant by the morning. I might give it another rinse in the morning, but we'll see. I like to get a good sprout on them, but technically, even, even now, the way they're at, you could you could plant them, and they'd be fine. But we're gonna let them sprout sprout at least one more night. So we'll give that about eight to 10 more hours and just set it back where it was. All right, keep watching the video and I'll be back in eight to 10 hours. All right, so here we are and these seeds are plenty sprouted. You can clearly see it. And they're ready to plant. So what we're gonna do here. Is first I kinda 
want to give these another quick rinse really quick. So you can definitely, definitely see how sprouted those are. And they get like that, they're more than ready. So let's give them one last quick rinse before we plant them. Now, I, I accidentally rinsed this out and well, actually accidentally didn't film it, I accidentally pushed the, the photo button instead of the video and it took a picture. So this actually, I did this two more times than since when, what you saw it and that's what it ended up looking like. So that's about you just want to get them moist and rinse them out when they dry off get them about to that a little bit less even that's plenty that, that's more than enough to to plant them okay so just kind of put the water in them and break them apart okay i'm just going to drain these for the last time <laughs> I know, I know this seems kind of tedious, but this really does get like clockwork. I mean, once, once you do this a couple of times, you can put a wheatgrass flat together pretty quick. Get this done. It's not, it's not going to take too much of your time or anything. So, okay. So now we have our seeds ready to plant. Now, one thing about the soil. Just gonna grab our soil here, right here. I'm just gonna take it out of that container. And you'll notice this soil got really dry. It's really dry, it's not moist. So we're gonna have to get this soil wet. And normally it's not like that, Your the soil you get usually a little more moist but unfortunately that soil was really old it was really old so it it dried out but it's not a big deal let's get this wet Sorry about that. I just want to make sure these seeds grow right. And normally, this wouldn't be a really big deal at all, but this seed really did get pretty wet. So now, now that that's good to go, we got that soil moist like it should be. And again, that's only because I let it sit. And I only showed you that because in case you do the same thing, I don't have no problem. 
So the soil looks really nice now. Nice moist soil. Got our seeds. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna plant the seeds. Okay, so we're just going to take the seeds, see this, and just evenly distribute them over the top of the soil. Okay, make sure you get this spread out really well. And break these seeds up really well as too, really well too, because again with the mold, you want you want to make sure this is very aerated and has a lot of air circulation to it. So. Make sure like you know break them up really well. All right, take take a little time with this, and there we go. And some of these will probably be left at the bottom and won't sprout very well. I just get rid of those ones. And there we go. So the next step here, now that we've spread these seeds out, and we made these nice and even here. Okay, you want this to look just like that. Okay, now that those are nice and even. What we want to do now is take our paper towels and put three layers of paper towels. So we're going to go on top of this. So we're going to go like this.
So we have now our three layers of paper towel. So what, again, what we want to do again, or next, I guess I should say, is pour a little water on top of these paper towels. You want to get these paper towels moist. Strain is empty, so we're going to fill this back up really quick. This process does take a little bit of water. Okay, so. We're just going to damp these paper towels down. We're just going to let these soak in and kind of mold with the tray. Once these are all wet, just pour just a little bit, just enough to get through it until it starts dripping a little bit through the bottom, as you can see here through the soil. Okay. Okay, and that's pretty much how that goes. Um, once you have this set up, and it looks like this, let it drain for like, I don't know, five, ten minutes. Make sure you put a decent amount of water. This, the, the first time, if you want to put a decent amount of water, like I said, make sure it's dripping a little bit from the bottom here. And other than that, you don't want to use too much water. I mean, if it gets too dry, do that again. And then I'll do that in another video. If it gets, you know, your grass gets up to here. And it's getting a little dry you can just pour it through and let it drip out and like let that all strain out and that'll sprout your grass up grass up quite a bit just make sure to let it strain out like i said you want to keep air airflow for the most part during this process again with the mold so that's one of the reasons we're making this video like this to help with not only get get the most nutrition out but mold has, has been a big issue a lot of people are talking about so and i've had that issue in the past so what you want to do is when when this is like this just put it back in your thing let it drip out it like i said let it drip for 10 minutes put it back in your thing and just set it aside all right and what you want to do those paper towels are going to be good Sorry about that, it phone fell. So those paper towels are gonna be good for, I don't know, probably at least eight hours. But keep an eye on them. And when these towels start to dry out, you're gonna wanna repeat that process and just get those towels wet again. And we'll make a video about that, so don't, don't worry about that. But that's the process. Just make sure to leave that in the sink for like 10 minutes and let it finish dripping out. Put it back in the tin, in your container, I mean, and put it on these, these little two by twos or whatever you got doing, you know, whatever kind of a setup you want to do here. And let that sit for eight hours. And when those paper towels dry, we're going to make another video and just wet those paper. All we're really going to do is wet those paper towels. And it's going to take about three days and you'll take the paper towels off and you'll have sprouted wheatgrass and that's that's the entire process so you let it sprout cut it and juice it okay so we're almost done here um go ahead go ahead and keep watching the video and in my my time which is going to be about eight hours probably in the morning or something We'll, we'll wet those paper towels again, but in your time, it'll be in about a few seconds. All right, so go ahead and keep watching the video, and I'm going to let that sit for a while.
Okay, so it's been about a day, and this paper towel, these paper towels are pretty dry now. But you can look, look, lift this up and look at this, and that's pretty much there. You could take this off right now, and this would grow, but I'm just going to wet it down one more time just a little bit, and I'll probably come home from work about eight or nine hours and, and take that off and it should be ready to go. I might leave it till morning. So let's just give it another water really quick. And check the soil, it's still plenty moist. So all we're gonna do now is just kind of wet the towel. We don't want to water the grass. Let that grass get almost all the way dry the soil, sorry. Let the soil get almost all the way dry before you water it. Okay. Alright. And that's pretty much that. And I'm just going to put this back. Up, make sure that it's not stuck on any of the grass which doesn't seem to be and what what will happen is that's just gonna grow up and, and you can see right there it's just lifting starting to lift the paper towel up so when the grass grows and it lifts that paper towel up enough like that to where you can see the grass and then you just take it off throw it away and that's it your grass is growing and ready to harvest and you're just going to want to make sure that keep an eye on the water and make sure the soil doesn't get too dry but that's about it all right so that's it for now and i'll show you what this looks like when it's all done and ready to go okay so it's been about 24 hours and as you can see, the grass has pushed up this paper towel. So all we're really going to do is just lift it off and discard it. And there you go. And that is how to grow flats of wheat house from beginning to end in a one bedroom apartment. And as you can see, it's a little thin right now. Oh, and also how to harvest and juice it. And as you can see, it's a little little thin right now, but give that a day or two, like when in the first video with these other ones, and they're going to end up looking really thick like that. And that, that one on the left is the older one, and, and you can kind of see it starting to thin out, but you're going to still get some wheat grass out of that. And you can you can drink it or put it in your put it in your bathtub i'll probably just put this in my bathtub and keep growing these fresh ones so okay so that that's pretty much it i appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and i hope if you're looking to grow your own wheatgrass that it works out really well for you and i really really hope we we covered everything so make make sure to ask any questions that you might have in the feeds if, if you have any and I'd be happy to answer them but hope hopefully we covered everything so it's looking if you do do everything just like in the video you should have nice healthy wheatgrass nice healthy supply of wheatgrass and you should get the most nutrition out of it possible all right guys thanks again and we'll see you in the next video